pick it right now if I'm business associates, but then I'm thinking, okay, so I can get away with my nature's profit if I want. Uh, but we're going to take the Shadow Demon instead, which makes me think of Luna or something. But they, they are just getting a purge for, like, the Iron Shell, too. And I guess the, uh, the Soul Catcher is really good this game, too. Or a potential break as well. <gasps> Gets the Aghanims. No more cleave. Hey. You're worthless, Sven. Got him. I like it. I think the Shadow Demon's a great here. It's got remaining. some save. Like you said, the Demonic Purge is amazing. Grim um, 5. Radiant team pick. ET 5. Whoa. <laughs> Why ET? I mean, um, lots of team fight. Wombo combo. Isn't Grimstroke just like so much easier here, though? I, get, I think it's for the natural order with the cleave. I mean, yeah, that's Ten great. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, And then if they get, like, an AC carrier or, like, a Shadow Fiend last for four Zoomers or something. It also doesn't give anything to the Rubik. Yeah. Because it's another hero who the spells are, like, worthless, which mm -hmm. is uh, kind of cool because Inkswell and, like, all the seals for Rubik from Grimstroke are incredible because they're just jacked up Grimstroke <laughs> spells. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary. Uh, so if you want Troll, you have to pick him now. And he, he's looking pretty good. Again, it's like, uh, what does he get for armor, though? Well, and mm. that was, I was thinking potentially Radiant morph, but you can't do that into ET now. No. So they have to switch it up and go Lifestealer instead. Um, which is a nice break, because there's some crazy wombo combo potential here with Vord Zoomers, right? Vacuum, Hoof Stomp, Storm yeah. Hammer, Echo Stomp, like... Yeah, it could get really wild. Ten seconds remaining. So, seconds what remaining. are we looking for last? This is probably um, going to be Brax on the Prophet again. And they need a mid-hero that is pretty mobile. I guess Storm looks sort of okay here. Can probably just ban the Zoomers just in case. Okay. I don't know if Puck would be enough damage. I guess if the Dyer Prophet went more damage back. builds, they could uh, take that too. You ban out that Enigma again, as you were discussing uh, when we first started this series. Yeah. Four strength. Who was it that was heroes. banning that out? Um, wasn't it Business Associates, or maybe it was? Ten seconds. It was the game remaining. that we watched yesterday, which I think was the uh, uh, Thunder Predator Five versus. Seconds. Yeah. Because it was a similar situation where we yeah. were seeing these like these Enigma bans, where it almost looked like it would be like a mid hero, but I guess as you said, it could just be the Doom mid at that point. So. Right. Yeah, and if that is the case, they still have the uh, the Beastmaster and the Legion left. Legion looks pretty good here for the Zoomers too, as long as the <laughs> Zoom the Doom remaining. mid looks all right, right? Can you imagine if they Dyer end up with four, five melee strength heroes? I think they're about to. I mean, they banned the Beastmaster, <laughs> but they're thinking the same thing. They're just like, yeah. hmm. Yeah, Beastmaster would have been a lot of auras. I mean, business associates could hypothetically take the Legion mid themselves too. Ten seconds remaining. True. But then you might True. get like counterpicked by something. Yeah, you might get like Five Viper or seconds something. Remaining. That'd be nasty. I think Shadow <laughs> Fiend would still be sick too for Zoomers. Yeah, we need more SF games. Those were fun. I think with presence and then also having the ET, like that just looks devastating with the combo they got. It's gonna be like one swipe and they're all done. How do they control this Sven right now? Radiant uh... team pick. Shadow Demon ulti? Oh, that's kind of cool. They banned the Moo Tiny now, too, because now they might have a good Ember game because it got left in the whole time. Oh, nice. Smart. So now they have to pick something that can do well versus Doom, but also dissuade an Ember pick, or at least be okay if Ember gets picked up Ten here. Ten seconds remaining. Um, I was thinking, like, Necro or something, but that's Five not great against the Doom. Remaining. Oh Dying man, it's so hard to get like BKB control. Slada. They take the Slardar, so mid profit perhaps? I guess they'll decide. Could be mid Slardar too. We've seen yeah. that a lot, right? Like from like Boxy, he plays that mid mm -hmm. uh, in uh, favorable matchups. And it's a low armor hero too in the Doom. And if they went for the Ember, they could put the Slardar mid. Okay. Ten and then you just punch remaining. him a bunch. Although I don't know how that works with Flame Guard. That'd be an interesting one to see. If like, Five I would guess Slardar remaining. wins, but I can't say I've seen it. Well, four zoomers now, 10 seconds left. Well, that's not a lot of time. Hopefully they had something in mind. And they go back for the morph. Whoa, heroes. morph Sven. What's happening here? Sammy Boy's taking the Sven. So Gunner's taking the morphling. This is like one of those, like, 
Morphling Lone Druid draft, so like Morphling AM, like huh. or not, sorry, Morphling Lone Druid or something, where you just like pick a hard carry mid two. Very interesting. I mean, it it kind of dominates Life Stealer, right? If you get to the late game, I feel like this draft just wins. Yeah, but it's super high armor versus the Slider and the Life Stealer. Right. They have like yeah they how do they kill this Morphling? Uh this is a snipe of a pick. They have to win early, I think. Brax they need like soul catcher and big nukes. Like, like if Snake King steals a, a decent nuke, that'd be good. They don't really have that much to steal though, like adaptive strike. Yeah, I mean that's pretty yeah, much it. I guess that's true. Five seconds remaining. All right, just steal Doom. There you there. go. <laughs> just that's... steal Doom. I like it. Oh, yeah, that that's nice. Jeez, what do you do? Do you put the? I don't even know who goes mid. I guess Moose still goes mid. Right? Um. So Gunner is going to be able to last hit really, really well. Yeah, I think you have to. Because I think you still just need his rotations on the slider. Yeah. <laughs> Moo just can't let go of these offlane heroes, man. <laughs> Moo, <laughs> shout out to Moo, because he was the original slider player that I remember from, yeah. like, like, when those patch notes got leaked that he was going to get phased movement and they were changing up the Guardian Sprit and everything. Uh, and so suddenly everyone was just, like, playing Slider and pubs, even though he hadn't even been changed yet. And Moo was grinding him a bunch. And then the patch notes came out and everyone's like, oh, this is why everyone's playing Slider suddenly. Yeah. Oh, leaked patch notes. I haven't had those in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but they're pretty cool when they come out. I, don't, I We haven't had a patch in a while. I'm down for a patch. Yeah. It's kind of sad not to see a patch. Has this patch even been on land? I can't remember when the last big patch. Yeah, no, it was like March, so. Yeah. Right? Was it March? I don't remember. How long have we been in quarantine? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking back earlier today of like the very beginning of quarantine because yeah. we did like a super hard quarantine in Nova Scotia where like no one was allowed to do anything. Everything was closed. Yeah. Yeah. You, you had to, the only thing you were allowed to do if you went outside was walk on the sidewalks. Like we got. Uh, chased off by the cops because our son was bicycling on a school parking lot across the street from our house. Oh my god. For this first time, they were just like, no, you can't. We're sorry. You can't do it. And they're like, damn. Shit's hardcore. But yeah. it was, you know, it was, uh, it was a fun time. Who doesn't love just being stuck in the house all the time? Now, thanks to these efforts, things are a little better here. But the whole point I'm making is, damn, that was a long time ago. Yeah. And, uh, Dota has, uh, has changed a lot since then. Since the start of quarantine, man, like we got all new heroes. I, I'm not ready for new patch yet. I think this patch still has some distance. Okay, I'm down. Because the interesting thing about it is that you still get a lot of play as far as like responding to what's the dominant meta, and then that sort of changing over time. It's gonna be some good stuff. Yeah. He just said fun. That's all he said. Yeah, I think he missed his thirty seconds to letters or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's that's a weird thing to miss, just the have. Have fun. <laughs> fun. Just fun. Maybe he doesn't want to wish them good luck. He doesn't want to wish them anything. He doesn't want them to have fun. He yeah. wishes for the fun. Yeah. He doesn't even wish for it. It's just it's something that he recognizes exists in the world <laughs> that other fun. people have. Define <laughs> colon fun. He's just he actually meant to Google it. <laughs> He's a very stoic man. What is this fun? All right, so it's going to be a uh, two runes apiece. Give him the crush. Sammy boy gives him the little stun. A little chase of doo doo Getting on to Moo. Yeah, and it is Brax mid. That, uh, that seems more logical, eh? Okay. The, the nature's profit here. Either way, it's just whoever you want to activate. Um, and profit's probably the easier one, right, with the levels and everything. But that almost makes me want Brax to do that kind of a build where he does go like Orchid or something. And tries like, to just kill him constantly. Well, it just tries to, you know, make stuff happen around the map. I don't know if Brax can... I guess you can do that with still going for the mech build, but a lot of that is then going to be predicated on the farm that Moo gets, because then you assume that Moo wants to be the more, like, damage-centric one, not building auras and trying to provide a good gateway for Envy to actually uh, get some kills, so... And then this all reminds me of Game 1, where the whole mid-game theory craft and bull crap doesn't even matter. Right. Because uh, what if they just win the lanes again? It's true. Well, and I, I, I'm really, I guess that there's not too much nuance to these matchups. But whenever you have a player that's transitioning from one lane to another, uh, particularly from like, you know, off lane to mid or anything like that, um, it, it always makes you wonder, like, how much is this person going to be comfortable 
playing this matchup because there's so many like intricate details of like you have to do this at this point and at that exact moment and, and if it you don't changes you a lot too yeah yeah like mid at the start of a patch mid at the end of the patch often has like whole metas develop and like new techniques are learned and everything so you gotta be on top of that stuff Totally. But Mastery of the Hero definitely helps, and obviously he's played a ton of Nature's Prophet before. Radiance Courier has yeah, been just kind of killing it right now against the Gunner, at least these early levels. Does look to try and get that one taken away as well, so no last hit under tower for Gunner, at least on the range creep. Up top, lots of pressure on the Husky. Gets the bash, gets one more punch out there, and Snake King drawing first blood. I'm just watching Gunner farm transmit. Yeah, a lot of gold. Like that damage over time, you just can't do anything. And then he runs all the way back. What a hero, man. Yeah. Like, what is this? <laughs> Why is this allowed? It's just, it's his thing, you know? He's happy with it. Waits until, you know, he starts getting the Tango region, and suddenly he's back up at a fine HP. All right, well, they grabbed their first kill, and it's uh, on their best hero to get along, I would say, in uh, the Rubik. Mm -hmm. And what does Husky do now? No. It's the D ward off. Wants his pull. We'll have it by the three minute mark if Snaking doesn't rotate his way over there. Although he does know now and he's already making the move. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me just come kind of stand here. That's, that's not a bother for you, is it? Meanwhile, down below. Double Iron Shell. Ocean getting aggro onto fear. But can't manage to. Uh, well, no, they're going to glyph for this, actually. So Fear in some trouble. Monkey's chasing after him, still getting the burn down. Chase is there, and Fear, one more punch from the Cone-Headed Man. Gets them the kill on the Shadow Demon. Top lane, Husky barely able to get away. And Envy is getting completely zoned out of the lane right now. Ooh, yeah, what's happened to this wave? They're TPing. Radiance bottom tower <laughs> wow. Yeah, Fear, the only option there. After the death. Okay. So interesting start so far to this game. Uh, Life Stealer feeling like he's getting the most out of it. Uh, although it should be a good amount of pressure. It, Life Stealer is always so nice against Darkseer. You can just rage and not too concerned about things. And there's the Shadow Demon counter you can do too. It's like Bane. Didn't work though. He actually still got within aggro range. Wow. Huh. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I'm really groups. surprised. And it looks like Envy is not going to miss much underneath the tower. There may be one creep. One to one so far. And you can see Gunner feeling very comfortable where he's at. The Nature Prophet's going to TP back out afterwards. Uh, but he's having a good game so far. Another really nice aspect of this, uh, this Morphling pick, though, is that because that Shadow Demon... There's a pretty good chance that if you went like a really playmaking mid or something like that, uh, and you just went all in on this like four protect one Sven, if they do get those big purges off uh, onto the Sven, it's really hard for him to play this game, right? Yeah. Now, mind you, the Agnims does help solve that for sure, as uh, Husky's gonna go down. I'm still just watching mid to see if Brax can really get Gunner, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Yeah, no problem. I got my eyes on it. Oh, it's good. all good. Mood just does the little charge up, has a bunch of those iron with branches in his inventory. Beats away. Ocean, five stacks right now as they're moving in with Envy. He does have open Dyer's wounds. So he tries to attack. play around the corner. Shadow Poison about to wear off. Takes a big old chunk of damage, but he will be fine. Gunner does a little dive there onto Brax. Tries to pressure here as Brax gets in the way. Nice. And he misses one creep. Oh, Monkeys gives him the Iron Shell to help push out his wave. Kind of cute. Just dealing with the catapult being there that much more quickly. Couldn't get the last on that though. Yeah, you can just play monkeys though, so it's okay. There <laughs> you go. Exactly. Don't take any of the heat for that one. Yeah, very even game so far. Uh, not what we've been seeing up until this point. But I feel like that's kind of favoring four zoomers. Just yes, this lineup is super greedy. Yeah. I think uh, the big question mark will be Moo again. Uh, and he did it game one. I'll tell him, or I'll say that for sure. Like, not only did he crush his lane, but he did get that blink dagger up fast and just helped uh, create aggression across the entire map. And I, I think it's going to be a lot harder for him this time. Obviously, he's coming out of the side lane and have to do the same thing as the Iron Shell Doom rotates up top. They're kind of baiting under this tower. For the opening, as 
find that Echo Stomp running down Moo. Infernal Blade is already there. Sammy Boy has another Stormhammer soon. They're still going to manage to get that kill and maybe follow up on a Snake King. Sammy Boy there gives him the punches on down. Iron Shell Chase and the finish. Double kill for Ocean in mid lane. Diving onto Gunner, but it looks like he's fine. Dyer's middle tower yeah, hasted just attack. in case, but again, they just really can't kill him. Now, the question is, can they save their tower? Um, they have a Dark Seer, so there could be rotation from Monkeys, but he's also busy with Radiant's this uh, on the bottom. So this double top. lane pressure, great stuff here from Business Associates. Yeah. And a lot of that coming because of that dive top. Like, it didn't work out that well, but it's getting them a ton of tower damage on the other two lanes. Radiant right. structures are They're even going to glyph here. Brack's going to move in. Create some treants oh. afterwards, but it comes a second. Well, maybe it comes right on time. Monkeys goes down and they keep the catapult alive on 80 oh, HP. That's, that's a problem. That's Damn. a real big problem. That's a free tower. That's huge. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Wow, what a play. Easy gold. And Envy already has phase boots too. Uh, has his bracer, so he can start heading back in towards the jungle, rotating through, waiting for the wave to come back. And now his supports get some freedom to move around. Fear's already been to the mid lane, and uh, another aspect we still haven't even seen yet will be that um, Slardar setup from the uh, Shadow Demon. Right. And the e easy crushes. You can see Mu opting to go for the drums now instead of going for the uh, the blink dagger. So he wants to be able to sort of stand tall and and fight. Uh, as opposed to just going in for that like initiation. He needs to be a damage dealer. Yeah, it's also that uh, the drums are really good with like the Prophet and all the Treants are going to be there too. Okay. As uh, He is going best of two on Brax here. Sammy Boy comes in. There's the Infest afterwards. He's taking a ton of damage. Gets absolutely demolished. Uh, and now looking for more Husky, trying to run away. They drop down the wall. I don't know if that's going to be good enough. I mean, they're all there. The amp. This is a very interesting trend that uh, Business Associates have shown us this series. Radiant's all three games at the eight-minute mark, they've put all five heroes at a lane or in the same spot and just forced a fight. Yeah, that's the third time Dyer's straight. The first two times it was it was mid, attack. right? We had Envy rotate Radiant's through on the AM and everything. Uh, and they're they're finding these plays before the enemy supports have six. Hmm. Uh, I mean, their supports don't have it either, but like Rubik and Shouting are both really good before six, whereas some greedier supports like Doom, not so hot. Right. Well, and this is why it worked previously, is Ocean's going to get surged away, just barely, keeping him alive. And Gunner runs back, able to keep him away. But I think that that's why we've been seeing the, the games go so heavily towards business associates early on. It's like the once the ultis come online, it's like they, they sort of lose out on a timing. Yeah, they are getting uh, a lot done, though, and they want to finish off this tower, too, I think, uh, before the 10-minute mark. Nice, nice crush. Gunner still gets the strength off. He will be fine as the stun comes out, but they back away. Now, uh, E.T. was stacking this Dyer's up. There's two triple camps in the uh, dire jungle, which has not nice. been dealt with yet. And some jelly as Envy is getting some small camp. Oh! oh! Where's the ward? Oh, no. <laughs> there was no ward. Oh, no. What? A wrath of nature. How did he die? He he must have been switched down to full Agi. Yeah, he was down to full Agi when uh, Brax just saw him, I guess, and just popped wrath of nature on him. Yeah, he only took 80 damage from it, so yeah. that that's actually just level one. So there you go. Or first target, rather. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. That uh, yeah, that's that's a problem. Yeah, I, I mean, whatever. Like one death, it's not, it's not a huge deal. I mean, it's very good for sure, <laughs> but it's it's the life of Morphling, you know. And it's big for Brax. I mean, look at it. It is big for Brax. He's well ahead in this game, and uh, he is going for that uh, that damage dealer that he needs to be here, especially with the build that Mu has opted for to like the drum to potential blink after. So they are given that tome to Snake King. He now has level six. So they can maybe start fighting soon with their abilities as Fear also has level 6. And the rest right now, four Zoomers, are backing away and trying to push out these lanes. Uh, but it does look like there's a bit of a group up with Doom available. They could make a move on to Brax down bottom. So what happens now, though, with the Life Stealer? Because Envy's going for a Midas, which, you know, Midas is back. It's a good item and everything, but is it... 
Is it worth? Well, we'll see, because they're about to fight Radiant's Gunner. Bottom tower. They do and have the lifestyle inside. he is inside. so alone right now. Chase, Chase does have the wave for him. Crush comes out. Lots of damage. Not nearly enough. They doom snaking. Going to pull him back in. There is a surge available already not used, actually. Adaptive Strike pushes him back. They do lose Ocean. Snaking also going to fall yeah, to the doom. Gunner. Gunner. Oh, my God. Why are you doing this? My, my heart <laughs> can't handle it. He wants to juke the other direction, has the waveform afterwards. Just playing around with it. Like it ain't no big deal. That brought all five heroes back down to that bottom lane again. Then he uh, keeps going for that Midas. So yeah, so he's gonna go for the Midas. And again, you know, good item and everything, but can he even keep up? Does he need this Midas to keep up, I guess? Is that the whole thing? It almost feels like, I guess I'm wondering is like, should he be going for something more aggressive to try and like fight with the slider and fight with this, uh, this nature's prophet. But Envy thinks that it's too important to have Radiant a backbone for the team, standing. which is understandable. Right. Oh man. Oh, they found the stack. Oh, now this is, all right. You guys want to watch some Dota Radiant's here for the next three minutes? Is this where it's going to be? I mean, uh, yeah. they're looking for it. Gunner. How's anyone going to clear this up with the other team contesting? Oh, yeah, geez. this is insanity. Ocean's already there, though. They get the catch right now. Waveform through, trying to find Envy. Pops the Rage. Brax gets hit. Stun comes out from Sammy Boy, trying to cleave through all surge. of them. But there's the Sprout. Going to be used for the moment. They get the Calling Blade through. Stun is there. Now the chase down onto Fear. And it looks like they're going to be able to find it, that kill at the very least. Yeah, Can they get any more after? Look at the damage, though! That came out from the Nature's Prophet ulti. Envy now turning onto Husky. Sammy Boy just trying to run away, but the stolen surge and the chase forward coming as they want to find this kill onto Sven. Does he have any more? It was the third hit right there. But Moo couldn't land it. And instead, uh, Gunner? Gunner, he just goes down. Yeah, he had way for him. He was playing pretty greedy there. And he saw that uh, Snaking stole the uh, attribute shift too. So now he's a big tanky Rubik. And back to the, uh, the, the Ancients they go. I wonder if they should have backed after that first kill and tried to just go with the ulti from Sven. Dude, they're running back in again. They, they are not willing to give this up, but already a lot of it is gone. Envy just keeps hitting. Sammy Boy looking for a target. Brax is there. Stun comes out. Blow him up first. Can they get any more afterwards? Monkeys chasing. Vacuum. No follow-up. There's the Doom up again. Looking for it. The chase down does have it available going to turn and drop it onto that slaughter he's got off. the sprint off he's running <laughs> so he's out of there muted chasing trying to escape what in the hell ocean died on the back too he's just sprinting man and then he has the doom oh my god that is devastating. they're going back in oh they're gonna get gutter they want him <laughs> they want him real bad they still have the ward oh they're still god. chasing Chase oh down. man, this is risky. Looking, Brax, they find one. There's going to be the catch. Gunner, you have to be careful about how you wait for him in. Find Snake, he gets the kill. That was so needed. Oh, they got so baited by having Doom. Oh man. That was so and bad. Envy just going to try and TP away. He will escape. Moo again, speedy in the river. So, gets out of there. There's a sentry up on the high ground. It doesn't see this ward that the Radiant have here. The Radiant have full vision. They have Doom on the Rubik. They want to kill Gunner so bad right now like i completely understand why they went for that but that was like if they don't have doom they don't go back in there right right and that that really hurts to lose that fight like that mm. i'm impressed that the zoomers ran back in here and fought that because i was not sure that was going to go well for them that time right and they're even able to like just denying them complete control of that ancient stack and not letting them uh i guess just sort of have free time to farm i feel like any trade right now favors the zoomers at least that's my opinion of it yeah you look at yeah. like dota plus right now it's 80 again keeping the game even right like yeah. that, that's what feels good yeah wow i did not know it was that high holy moly man i don't blame it though uh moo you know we, we also need to talk about gunner they, they picked the morphling into the life sealer too right they saw yeah. that out there and they're like nice now i get like full rage will be awesome six more seconds oh, of magic fortune. community if i want to pick up a bkb2 Lardar is not a bad morph either. Very good targets this game. Definitely. And interestingly enough, Brax right now, I, I was wondering where the rest of his gold is spent, but he just has the Desolator with the treads and trying to get into the BKB next. They kind of tried to meme it a little bit, right? Like these yeah. super early fights and then Slardar, Drums, Deso, uh, and Lifestealer. Like it's just so much physical damage that you're hoping to overwhelm them, but you're also going all physical into 
a Morphling as well as Warcry. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's Radiant really hard to tower fight into that. But could this be the big decider? One of the big things changing stuff Radiant around is the Roche. That DD, I think that it scouted Envy heading over there. Maybe not, though. But they're just going to get this one free. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, they haven't been on the map in a long time, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be too late. I mean, it's a fire die lineup. They might have known because it's happening. They certainly won't make it in time. Echo Saber now done for Sammy Boy. And feeling very much uh, in a, a bit of a weird place, even with just monkeys here. Um, like, he, he does so much in the game, but he's still relatively poor he needs the rest of his team to be there and well Lou able to interrupt they have vacuum wall if they want to use it just gonna pop the surge but now monkey's caught drops oh, down the, the wall as a save for the moment vacuum pulls him in afterwards nice combo with the earth splitter the sun's there sammy boy he doesn't have ulti for another 40 but still the cleave it's enough they get doom off on the rubik get that kill now brax also ran down they managed to take down both for the cost of the doom and the dark seer Oh, they have the Ooh. invest here, though. Get Radiant's fresh bottom with Husky. Tower is under Won't attack. work out. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Is Gunner going to finish this defusal? That's interesting. Huh. So, kiting the Slardar. Very annoying. Speed Blade, not that great because pretty tanky heroes. Yeah, that is a very interesting one. Could also just go Phantom. Yes. That feels quite good as well. And, well, they're, they're going to find poor old Moo. Uh, Moo's just completely in over his head. And there he gets the rest of them to use the Morphling line. Um, and they managed to find that finish. And it's thinking, not getting the silly wants because the adaptive Agi. 11 to 12. Hmm. The thousand gold lead. Stone. Nice, nice. And now it does sort of have that feeling that uh, four Zoomers having a nice game with themselves. Business associates, definitely not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. I, I mean, I guess they, they have this to just run into the wall, though, right? They they just need to infest and go back into their territory right now with this Aegis. And I, okay. I think that's what feels so hard about this game. Right. Because it is... It, it just feels like you're, you're butting your head against it. Hoping for the best. Yeah. Doom back in 30 seconds. They yeah. need to just blink on Moo. Yeah, he decided to switch it up. He did have that Aghanim's cube, but now realizing that they might need something else. They managed to get two D wards here on Business Associates on both of those high ground wards. Uh, so this could be that moment to try and group back together and go for a smoke play. Hunting up top, but already Ocean is away. They dropped that ward a lot. Yeah. Very interesting one. It's never going to get D warded. No. Until after this game, he said that. <laughs> so, Moo, looking at Sammy Boy, not going for anything yet. What's the next pickup? Yeah, Sven's going Ags. And that, like you said, solves a lot of the problems that the Shadow Demon was presenting. Yeah. You can also replace your Quilling Blade with it, too, for the most part. That shot out. It's an adaptive. They have that diffusal blade done. Chasing and he's in. Thinking, uh, so he's thinking no dispel. And he doesn't have a save. That's very interesting. This is kind of risky. I guess they don't. He didn't even go Orchid, though, right? So uh, he only has to worry about the Crosa. Dude, he doesn't have rage. Oh, my God. Envy had to jump inside Moo. <laughs> that was terrifying. But they stole Surge. All right. Oh, my God. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> They jump on a monkey, drops the wall though afterwards. It will blow up immediately. Brax pops BKB, trying to turn and go for the fight. Moo under control, being chased down once again to the river, and he will be able to run for the moment, but the net will chase him down and eventually find that finish. <laughs> now the stun on to NV. Echo Saber slow down. Age is dead. And he is in a world of pain here. Does have rage back up in one second. Pops it, now tries to run. Stolen Surge gets him out. 
800 movement speed on that life stealer, but fear pays the cost. <laughs> that was insane. Middle tower is under attack. <laughs> I don't even know what the movement speed was on Slaughter. <laughs> it was rather high. They get another one out here. Envy turning on the gunner, trying to bring him down low. Can they get it though? He just has not got enough damage. TP's out. Crush, not there. I need to try for max range. I appreciate that. Husky going to finish his TP out there as well. Oh, he doesn't have Bash up anyway. That was at 1,000 for a second when I saw him in the river. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what it was when he was... And well, and the Life Stealer too, yeah. Plus 25% for the Life Stealer. Yeah, that's that, insane. That might have been the fastest hero I've ever seen. Because <laughs> that was crazy. Now... There was one game, God, what was it? I think that it was like, uh, I think I was playing with Ben and like, it was Sven and then there was somebody that was chasing him. I think that it was Bloodseeker. I don't remember. Oh yeah, it was, it was Bloodseeker running away and then like the Sven hammer chasing him. Uh, and he was able to get from like right here to like right here. Oh uh, yeah, like there used to be the Bloodseeker being chased by the gyro missiles. That was yeah. a good one. Yeah, that was a quality <laughs> meme. Oh, I need to see these numbers again. Movement speed numbers? Yeah. Cause like, is it affected by the arcane supremacy? Uh, ooh, that's an interesting idea. But I don't actually know. The speed bonus that you get. Yeah, cause it's flat. Yeah, I don't know. I assume it is. And then you just get the, the base off of that afterwards for the infestation. Well, it's, yeah, cause you get a huge base bonus and then you get a percent bonus from Dyer's the infest. Yeah. Is under attack. Cause that's what makes it so crazy. He was running real fast. <laughs> he was <laughs> slithering all over the place. What, I, I'm wondering what would be the most broken hero to do that with? Cause you could just start like sort of running circles around people and they can't click on you. <laughs> Don't know. Snaking. Hello. Come say hello to the hammer. And that was and one monkeys one. wants some more. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Moo's like, sorry, bud. Yeah, I'm out. Gonna and then we just keep hitting crazy. Yeah, he's, he's super dead. Oh, he really wanted that one. He went back for one more swing. He's like, I fine. Radiant stops are fought. Oh, Sammy Sammy he wants it. He's waiting. See Brax there. Hello, hello, hello. In range. BKB popped. Eats his way through, needs a couple more hits. Oh, he stopped for the Midas. That wouldn't have mattered. Up top, they uh, top were top just messing around with Envy, too. Threw out a stomp. I think they know that Ward's there. Oh, he's infested. All right, 461. Oh, they don't have Surge. No. Oh, there goes Monkeys. He surged. <laughs> Find him. 847. And Adaptive Strike comes out. Gunner turns on in. Rage already used. A waveform up to the high ground, still living. Lift up afterwards. But monkeys in the side. They get the doom off to interrupt, and Gunner living surges him away. They get the full combo out on the rest of business associates. As the chase is continuing to come, they bring down Gunner, though. He goes down, actually, he's snaking. Okay. But it came at the cost of the slaughter and the Rubik. Ocean trying to run away. You got him with the fade bolt because the ward on the high ground. That's what it was. Oh, nice. Well played. Sammy Boy stuns to the low ground to try and finish off here. Gets him with the swipe and then the run away from Sammy Boy. Yeah, if he's going 868, jeez. Yeah. It's pretty good. Sven Ags is so sick. It is really good. It's like, I kind of like it too. I don't even think it's that broken just because like, how you have to afford it with other items and your BKB, it doesn't feel like crazy busted. Yeah. It's definitely really strong, no it, doubt. It's just fun, probably. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun to watch, too. Fun to play. Yeah. It's kind of fun to play against, too, because you're trying to bait him with some of your mobile heroes. Like, what if they steal Surge and he jumps on someone and they just surge that slider to the other side of the river? Yeah. Well, like, and they could actually move him like <laughs> to the other side of the map. You know, you know what I was just thinking about? If you could somehow make it work with Brax, where you TP back to the fountain, fountain storm hammering. <laughs> now you don't even have to though, because he can just run. Well, on, on Brax? Well, no, with Surge. Oh yeah, with Surge. <laughs> just, they just pop it open. It. I'm wondering if that disjoints or if it keeps going. I believe it disjoints. Okay. It does not. It does not chase TPs. That would be pretty crazy. That would be amazing. That would not be good for Sven. 
<laughs> it's just a TV back home. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of, big old punch to the back, and now Roshi's back up. That is the ET, and Doom's down, and they... I mean, they're not down, but the game feels like it's a 91% chance for Dire, according to Dota Plus, and it's 2K lead, but it feels that way too. Yeah. It, it just feels like they're not going to have the steam to win this game. Then again, all you need to do is win some fights, and if there's a time to win fights, it's right now. They have Blink. There's no BKB on this fence. It just really is it, even with this buyback. Gotta make some type of a mood. Okay, they switch on over. Jump in coming from the Doom. Three seconds away. Ocean, he's about to have it back up again. Has the Iron Shell on to him. Brax going to get caught. The big old cleave comes through. Finds Fear. That's one. Can they find any more afterwards? They're just going to go Roche. They're still hanging on to Doom here, too, who just got his Blink Dagger with a Stomp. Yeah, and already has Force, too. Get that thing back out here. Still just the Attribute Shift stolen now from Snake. He needs a better spell. Oh, and Chase. Done. Was a running. Looking it's for the follow-up. Snaking. They jump inside of him. Bringing him down low. There is going to be the kill. NB. It's going to be chased back to the side. Is able to find the beat down. Tries to pull up to the high ground. But they are disarmed oh, they for only a moment. Stop. Jump up to the high ground there as well. Get another kill. Four zoomers completely taking over now off that fight. The Titan says new. No. And they still have Doom. They didn't even use Doom. Yeah. So the plus. It always knows. Ah, oh, 400 health. Perfect. We're gonna have to add that onto the uh, the list of clink uh, spots. Of which spots? Uh, of clink spots. The Iron Shell Max Health. You know, we need to get the Enchantress, oh, and then you need your Life Stealer. That's a good point. Yeah. I like that idea. Well, 16 to 23, but an 8,000 gold lead now for four Zoomers who finished the AC for Sven. Uh, buyback status over the next couple of minutes. It's only Radiant that has it, but I have a feeling four Zoomers are not going to be so bold as to try and make moves uh, without buyback, even with the Aegis. Man, this Morphic was so sick. Yeah, it was really good. Extremely good. Oh, ping, 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 ping. I left an item. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and dropped Orb. Get over there. It's going to take that one. Uh, Sven? Oh, he wants to just keep the quickening charm. Man, I don't blame him. Yeah, that's a pretty good choice. The other thing I really like is the idea of uh, the diffusal for like consistent damage during the team fight and not just being like the one shot right. E Blade. I mean, it would have been cool if he could just blow up someone right away, like the Rubik or something every fight, but it's going to be pretty difficult. I mean, he comes um, pretty close to doing that just naturally with the waveform, anyways. Yeah, and I mean, you saw Sammy Boy. Poor Fear Man. He got uh, hit by the impact cleave from the, the Agnum, <laughs> yeah. and then the second hit just completely like, <laughs> obliterated him that last fight. He actually didn't cast anything, I don't think. Oh, poor guy. He did just get a craggy coat, though. Oh, really? That's super needed. Wait. Which I must say looks extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't think I would really want to wear that thing. Although nobody has it. Nobody's holding on to it. Yeah, if you just got it. Oh, okay. it's in his back. Now, Ocean appears to be okay. Has stick charges. I was holding his spider like there, too. Radiant's bottom tower is under but attack. Gunner just ready to beat away at this tower now with Sammy Boy. Tier 2 is going to fall. That will be the first of them. Radiant's bottom oh, tower. And they're oh, thinking about just going high ground now. <laughs> Daedalus done Dyer's on the Nature's tower. Prophet. Does this change anything? Mindbreaker 2? Radiant's bottom tower is uh, under attack. I guess you just hope that you can kill Gunner off of this blink stomp from the Rubik. Stomp. Chase, lift. Afterwards, stomp. Turn around from Ocean Doom. Already out. Demolishes the Rubik. Snaking is down. Sammy Boy stuck in the trees, but now the turnaround. Brax and Moo getting completely eviscerated. Vacuum pulls him back in. Another <laughs> round of kills and GG. With that, four Zoomers going to take the series and move on even to the upper bracket here for the Omega League. That is a little bit rough. Crushed in game one. Things not going their way too well in game two as well, but turned around.